Hey drummers, hope you well. Right, sh shout out to Superstar Channel member Simon, who is working on this today. Drum fills start on beat one, two, three, and four. Let's play a basic straight eights feel in four, four. One, two, three, four. Drum fills starting on beat one. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Let's play a shorter drum fill now, starting on beat four. One, two, three, four. Let's play a medium length fill now, starting on beat three, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's play a slightly longer one, starting on beat two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the point is, this is a video for the sort of beginners, improvers, when you just started jamming along to music. The point is, they have a different feel, don't they? They have a different kind of effect, I would say, to my ears. The big one bar long drum fill, remember a bar in music is one and two and three and four and well it usually is anyway uh, if you're in four four like this remember a one bar long drum fill well, to me it has quite a big effect if you're doing drum grades at trinity rock and pop think of something like another one bites the dust by queen they've got a big one bar drum fill for you there leading into the chorus one and two e and a three e and a four and it feels to me like Again, there's, there's no rules in music, of course, but I would say if you had to generalize, perhaps a big one bar long drum fill would punctuate a big moment in the music. Maybe, for example, going into a chorus, maybe something else, but just that it feels big, right? Whereas that shorter drum fill starting on beat four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Feels like a slightly, well, it is a smaller moment of punctuation. Let's face it. Why do we do drum fills? a few different reasons but one of the main ones is we, we're punctuating the music we're leading it guiding it one section into the next so just something to think about now when we're gonna if you're starting off on the drums and drum fills when we're thinking about when we're going to start our drum fill it's no mean feat i would say beat one is a good place to start because you play your groove one two three four say you play three bars of groove three four third bar two three four you then launch into your drum fill on beat one and your drum fill goes one and two and three and four and let's take a drum fill starting on beat two now one two three four second bar again we'll go three bars groove one bar fill here's the third bar one and two and three and four and so what i did there at the start was i played one and on the hi-hat and the bass drum as if i was just going to play another bar of groove right one and as if i was going to go two and three and four and, but I launched into the drum fill on two. One and two and three and four. Let's start a drum fill on beat three now. One, two, three, that's the first bar. One, two, three, that's the second bar. One, two, three, that's the third bar. One and two and four. So there I played one and two and, as if I was gonna play one and two and three and four and, but I launched into the drum fill after one and two and now three and four and. So one and two and three and four and. Then obviously, finally, if you're playing on beat four, the fill. One, two, three, four. That's the first bar. Two, three, four. That's the second bar. Here's the third bar. Here comes the bar with the fill. One and two and three and. So here you play one and two and three three and, as if you were going to play one and two and three and four and, but instead of four and, you play your drum fill. So all we're doing is we're playing the fourth bar in our sequence, assuming in this, which we are in this basic version, playing three bars of groove, the fourth bar, which contains the drum fill, comes after that. All we're doing in that fourth bar is we're going as if we were going to play another bar of groove, and then when we ever, wherever we start the drum fill, well, we just kick off from there, but otherwise we repeat. If you start on beat one, obviously you just start on beat one. If you start on beat two, you play one and, and then two and three and four and is your drum fill. If you start on beat three, you play one and two and, and then launch into your drum fill on beat three. If you're starting on beat four, one and two and three and, and then you play whatever you're gonna play for your fill on beat four. A good reference point that a lot of beginners, people starting off on the drums find helpful in my experience in the sessions that I do is that you hit the hi-hat on its own if you're playing a straight eights feel like this you hit the hi-hat on its own as the last thing you do before you launch into a fill in all cases actually so say that you're going on beat three one and two and 
the last thing you hit is that hi-hat, right? Say that you're going on beat four. One and two and three and the last thing you hit is the hi-hat on its own. So shout out to Simon, just something to think about. As usual, over on the channel members page, I'll put a few examples of drum fills that start on beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, following this beautiful format. And it's just a lovely thing to think about. Challenge yourself. If you're just getting started with your drumming and you can play a basic beat and some basic fills, the fills don't have to be anything fancy at all, but it's just thinking about the effect that the changing the length of the fill, like where you start the fill, and therefore the length of the drum fill can have in the music that you're playing. So jam along with the music that you love. You don't have to, in the first case, match exactly what the drummer's playing. Play a groove that fits. Think to yourself, is this what sort of what does this feel like? Do I feel like going for a big moment here? Am I going to start my fill on beat one? Is it a, does it seem like a smaller moment of punctuation? Beat four. And of course, that those are only some basic guidelines. There are no rules in music. Make it sound good. Top tip, bonus tip, record yourself, of course, listen back, make sure it's fitting, make sure it's grooving, review your, the musical choices that you're making in terms of the drum fills and the length of the fills, where they start by listening back, absolutely crucial part of the process. Shout out to Simon, check out the channel members page for, like I say, annotation and practice alongs. See you soon, cheers. the four, one and two and three and four, three, three, one, two, three, one, three, two, one, on the two, one, two, three, four, on beat three, one and two and three, hey, for watching, see you soon.